Hi, welcome to today's review of the Mercedes-Benz dump truck, the RTR RC car, brought to you by rcmoment.com. Today we're going to go through an unboxing of the Mercedes-Benz dump truck, the radio control model, and um, we'll take it out of the box and then we'll go ahead and um, take a look at uh, some of the functionality of what it offers. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the sides of the box here. But as you can see, it's in some um, very secure packaging, so uh, not to worry about the, the actual truck getting damaged. So we'll go ahead and open up the top here, and we can see right away that we have the uh, controller on the left side of the box. And again, as I said, the packaging was very secure. So what comes with it? We have our USB charging cable. We have the, the dump truck, um, which is actually 1 32nd full-size scale. Um, so you can see it, it's actually built to that size. Uh, we have the controller here, the car here, and um, we'll go ahead and just uh, cut the clip on here so we're able to take the car off the, the bottom here. All right, we're back. Um, so we removed it from the box, and after we cut that strap um, on the bottom um, of the, the actual holder for this, um, it's actually secured with screws, which is actually a very good sign of, of quality because they want it to be very stable and secure. So we took the screws out of the bottom here, which actually held it down, and now you can see that we have it out of the box. So this is what it looks like. Again, this is the Mercedes-Benz dump truck, RTR. So after we took it out, you can see this is what we're left with. So um, as we mentioned that this is the Mercedes-Benz dump truck, um, and you can get this at rcmoment.com. So with the length of this truck, this actually measures in at 17 inches long, 5 inches tall, and 3 inches wide. Now, um, the functionality you have with this on the remote control is with the trigger on the remote control here, um, you have the ability to um, turn, or I'm, I'm sorry, um, go left or right, and then um, forward and back, and then you can dump the truck up or down um, with the two uh, buttons here. And we'll get to that in a second, we'll actually turn it on. Um, but again, um, some of the features of this truck, um, on the front you can see here that we have uh, LED lights, um, which we'll see once we start on, on the bottom. We'll just lift this up, take it off. You can see that we have the steering trim on the bottom like you see on a lot of your standard cars. We have the, the panel for the rechargeable um, battery. We'll just go ahead and open this up here just to show everybody what it looks like inside. Um, so with this, it's about a two hour charge time on the base of the truck, okay? Um, so when we take the batteries out, you can see that when we pull the um, power out, that we'll be able to attach it here and we can actually uh, recharge it through a USB. So any computer or even wall outlets nowadays have um, the charge necessary to charge this battery. As I mentioned, um, you'll get about a two hour charge time in order to charge this battery and roughly around an hour working time um, after it's charged. So go ahead and put that down. I'll just reconnect this. Go ahead and put this back in. cover back on and as I'm putting this on here again you can see that we have um, wear resistant rubber tires that are actually included with this which is kind of a nice feature which allows you to take it indoor and outdoor and you shouldn't have any uh, slippage problems as you're playing around hills or on driveways um, as you, know, you might want to do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on and you can hear that engine roar um, so we'll go ahead and put that down here and then you have the stand on the bottom that simply just slides right into the, the neck of um, the truck in question here. So then we'll go ahead and grab the remote control here. And you can see from the remote control here that we have a bunch of different dials and knobs. And this one will actually go left or right. And let's actually turn it on so you can see some of the action. It is on, you can see the light indicating on. So we have the left or the right and you can see how that function will move, okay? Then on the remote control here, on this dial here, you have the forward or back. And you just tap that, because um, we don't want it to fall off. Now the other cool thing about this truck is you can load it up, so I'll go ahead and put some things in here. Um, put the USB cable, even put the screwdriver in here. And on the remote control here, there are two buttons. And um, if you just want to show the buttons here, we have the up and the down here. So we'll go ahead and um, we will press the uh, dump body down for the up button. You can see the car is up. And then we'll go ahead and just dump it down. And then we can move forward and move out. So again, this is a very cool toy for anybody that loves RC cars. And it's a great holiday birthday present for, again, the, the Mercedes lovers of uh, an actual model skill 
Um, so again, um, this you can find a review on rcremotes.com or more detailed um, pictures and, and specs on this. But um, again, we have the rechargeable battery in the base of the, the truck head here, and then two AA batteries that go in here that unfortunately aren't rechargeable. But again, um, because it's remote control, it's not actually powering the wheels. Um, it should be just fine in the long term. Um, with not going through batteries like every day or every other day. So um, any questions, feel free to contact us um, or reach out to rcmoment.com and uh, we'll be happy to um, go from there and, and guide you through uh, any other questions you may have regarding this product. Thanks for watching.